everyone, my name is Boiti Melo Mohanu. I hope you enjoy my story, which is Grandmother's Birthday Party. Thank you, enjoy! A visit to Grandmother's Birthday Party. Grandmother's birthday was soon approaching. She's turning 79 years old and, and her mother went shopping and came back with lots of clothes and presents for Grandmother's Birthday Party. When Dad came back from work, he asked Anne when is Grandmother's Birthday Party. It is Friday, said Anne. Mom told Jack and Anne to pack their bags. We are going to Pretoria to assist with her birthday party preparations. On Tuesday, Anne, Jack, Mom and her father got into the car and went to Pretoria. While on the road, Jack saw a puppy. Stop! You are going to step on the puppy, said Jack. They reached Grandmother's house. Anne's mother went into the kitchen to get dinner for everyone. Mom, we are going to unpack our bags, said Anne and Jack. They gave the children some blankets to sleep. Anne and Jack did not go to school up until grandmother's birthday came. Today is Wednesday. Everyone woke up and had porridge for breakfast. Jack's father went to town to work and to buy food. Mom stayed with the kids and she gave grandmother a massage. Kids, go and get a blue plastic in my room and bring it here, said grandmother. They brought the plastic and grandmother gave them each two Easter eggs. At 10 o'clock, the children went to sleep and mother had called the chefs. When father got back home, he was writing the invitation. Everyone went to sleep by four in the morning and the chefs were at grandmother's house. Anne's mother instructed them to set up everything. The deco company came and started to set up, but mother took grandmother to her friend's place. The following day was grandmother's big day, the day that everyone had been waiting for. It was a hot sunny day, you could hear the birds sing. The kids were filled with joy and excitement. Anne and Jack screamed with excitement. Today is grandmother's birthday party shouted Anne and Jack. Then mom took grandmother out for some ice cream. Jack and Anne went to bath after they went to play in the jumping castle with their friends. Everyone finished their work at 11.30 and Anne's mother called to check if she can bring grandmother but something bad had happened. Dad was at work. Mom tried to call dad to come home. Okay, I am coming, said dad and he told everyone that it is his mother-in-law's birthday. One of the people at the party were careless and they spilled soap water on the floor. Mom came with grandmother. Surprise, said everyone. Anne came running and slipped on the floor and broke her arm. Dad could not reach the party on time. Mom tried to call dad, but he did not answer. Then they took Anne to the hospital to get her arm treated. Miss Sitole was Anne's doctor, took a look at Anne's arm. When father reached at home, he did not find anyone and he called up. Where's everyone? asked dad. We are at the hospital, said mom. Then he rushed to the hospital and found everyone. Everyone was sad and disappointed. Anne kept on blaming herself that she ruined grandmother's birthday party. But mom told Anne, my dear, it's not your fault that grandmother's birthday party was ruined. How did Anne get here? asked dad. Grandmother answered that Anne slipped on the floor and broke her arm. Anne got a plaster on her hand and her friends went to visit her at the hospital. Miss Sitole came to see Anne and brought her a gift. She gave her a big teddy bear. Then after some few weeks, Anne was discharged and was forced to say to stay at home until she heals. She could not play with her friends. She went to sleep. Sometimes her hand would pain so much that she cried. They had to give her painkillers when she slept when she slept. As time went by, Anne started to feel better, but grandmother decided to take the party to Anne. Everyone brought cakes and balloons and they had grandmother's party when Anne was feeling better. Thank you.